Coming up on iPads in the Classroom, we're talking about spelling and vocabulary. Hi, my name is Gary Trainin and this is iPads in the Classroom from Tech Edge and today I want to talk to you about spelling, spelling lists and vocabulary learning. And I'm going to talk about a few apps. There are quite a few of them out there. And what, we're, what I'm looking for when I'm looking for these apps are a few things. I'm looking for the ability to create my own lists, the ability to have lists that are pre-made, the ability to share lists across teachers, which is really important. And then uh, finally, to make sure that there are ways for students to interact on their own with the app. So let's start. The first app I want to talk about is an app that helps kids practice sight words. And this one is called Sight Words Ninja. There's, of course, fantastic music to go with it. But the way it works is it says the word, and you have to hit, you have to hit the one that is correct for the word that is actually said orally. So you can see that in the beginning there's only one word and then it gets more complicated and you've got to start making decisions about which word it is. And this is a great way for kids to have some fun practice with sight words without uh, the feeling that they're repetitively just looking at uh, index cards to do that kind of practice. So this is the first one. The second one I want to talk about is called Spelling Test. And in Spelling Test, what you do is you can create multiple lists and then kids can take the test and inside that test environment, they hear the word and then they have to spell it. So this is again a hands-free. If you have multiple devices in the classroom, each student can have their own differentiated list or everybody can have the same and they can use this to take the test. Anyway, you can see what it looks like when you start the test. I created a one word test. You can, it does say the word out loud automatically, but you can play it again until you get it. Singing. So I recorded this and this is the word and you can go and say next and you see that you get immediately the feedback of how many out of how many were correct. So you can then look at the scores over time and all of that. And if you go back home, you can see that there is a profile here. It is my profile and it is based on email. So that's the downside to all of this. You can look at past test scores, but you can also create a new list. So you can just hit create list and then initiated and in a way this can be actually used to have kids practice the first time and that is they can create their own test. They can write the word, read it, so let's enter a new uh, list, let's call it new test and we say next and you can see you write the word, let's say fin and that's it and if you want to hear what it sounds like and then you go to the next word and you add as many words you can actually have students create those lists practice with them and then they take the test with their own voice embedded or they can even do it for each other so this one is called spelling test I really like it it's simple and the only downside is students do need to be registered or somebody needs to be registered with an email sight words is another app that does something very similar and sight words one of the advantages for me is that they have sets of words by grade level and uh, they allow you to use things that are pre-made but you can also make your own and they can also be multilingual so if you want to you can create them in different languages for example we created ones in Chinese it's very easy to add keyboards to the iPad and then have other languages work as well. So that is possible if you're teaching a foreign language or if you've got kids who are learning in two languages. But if you want to see what it looks like, so let's take the first grade. This is just a practice. Has. Old. Stop. So these, uh, this is a practice set and then what you can do is you can actually add and this is parental or teacher control. You've got to use three fingers and what you can do 
is you can actually add your own list so kids can uh, practice. And to start uh, creating your own list, you go to customize flashcards. And it took me a second to get there. You can see the existing sets. All you have to do, as usual, is press the plus button. And the plus button gives you the ability to copy on combined topics or create a new list. Let's do things that are connected to the ocean. Okay, So we're creating this new list. And now we're creating new words within that list. Let's record the first one. Let's uh, add the text. Let's say dolphin. And then just like the previous app, you hit record and you say dolphin. Stop. I recorded a little bit too much because I said a few words before, but that's fine. Um, there's a playback. You say dolphin. And that's what's going to play every time they see this word. So this one is called sight words and it's a great way it's from alligator apps which have produced very good apps for phonics early reading and this is another one in that list the last one i want to talk about is a plus spelling and what you can do is immediately you can see the scores and um, here's a list it's got only one word if you want to add new words you can add a uh, the word i don't know let's say bush we had tree we're talking about a fauna. So again, you write the word and then you record it. Bush. And now it's there. And then the practice can be Bush. You listen and then you put it in. And you want to make sure that if your kids are doing this, they're doing it in an area that's quiet enough so they can hear. Uh, there's an unscrambling. So you can use the scramble function, which allows kids to hear the word and then unscramble it. So you actually move the letters around into the right order. And then you see if it's correct or not and it gives you the score right here in the corner. That score is a little bit small for me, but that's fine. That's fine. And then you can take the test and you get, again, the audio. You write, you type the word, and you get a score. So this is another way to actually create and take those spelling tests. I do want to show one more app because we have a few more minutes, and this is the Vocabulary City app. Vocabulary City and Spelling City um, are great apps. Um, they're also websites. They're very rich websites. Uh, they start at the free level. And as a teacher, you can get a free one, a free account that your students can use and look at lists. But there's also a premium account that allows you to have a lot more games and practice sessions and be able to share with others and things like that. So that's important. And what you can see is that there are sample lists. You can log in. So I'm going to log in as a, as a teacher. So you can see that now I've got toolbox and uh, records. I can create new lists. This is a list I've created in the past and I can use it. Um, I can locate a list from a school that's been using similar materials to mine, or I can lo look for it by school. So if you enter a school zip code, in the case of a school I'm working with, uh, Rousseau Elementary, um, you can just enter the school zip code and then find the list that teachers in that schools have in that school have created. So you can see um, we can look through. These are all from our local school district. And this is Rousseau Elementary. And you can find lists by teachers created at different time points. So you don't actually have to create every list from scratch. Kids can then use those lists to take a test. Or there's a variety of games that you can use at the same time. So you can see there's a spelling test here. Or uh, you can play a hang mouse, which is a hangman version. You can uh, do missing letter, things like that. Again, different ways to interact around the words. So this is a great and very deep website and app. Explore it and find ways to help your kids learn how to spell and learn new vocabulary. And so today we talked about 
five different apps that can help your kids practice spelling and new vocabulary, and we'll see you next time on iPads in the Classroom.